Well, Clarets, what do we have to say about that game today? Um, we'll start off with the positives. Um, we had a couple of shots. Uh, we got a corner. I think, did we in fact get two, three corners maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're, they're my positives really. Um, the passion and fight that J-Rod and Gunmanson showed when they came on. I like that. I rate that. That should be what everyone in the squad's doing. And apart from those two when they came on, there's no one else showing that passion and fight. Um, every single one of their goals was pathetic. I think Asignon for the penalty, I don't think it was a penalty. I think it was very, very soft. But that's no excuse for the rest of it. Um. I said before the game I'd be happy if it wasn't double figures um, because Arsenal are a very, very good team. Um, obviously, you know, they put six past, past West Ham last week, so we know they're a good team. But in all seriousness, that was pathetic. Um, it's just hard at the minute to... To know what to say about this team because after last season where everything went so well and was going so right to go to where we are now it just doesn't sit right and something's just not right um but for me it's time for a change i'm not saying it's time for company to go because it's not i think he is still the right man for us and if we go down he will be the man to bring us back up I think there's no point changing him now anyway because we are basically down. Um, but something needs to change and there needs to be serious questions asked and he does need to be put under pressure. The changes that I would recommend, um, and I think it's probably, you know, echoed by a lot of, lot of Burnley fans today, um, is... We've got a young boy in goal who is not good enough at the moment. He will be good enough one day. He'll be a fantastic goalkeeper one day. In fact, I'd still stand by the fact that he'll be the best goalkeeper in the Championship next season. But he's not good enough for us this season. And, you know, a lot was said about Muric last year. And he did make a lot of mistakes. But nowhere near as much as Trafford has. And with, with where we are in the table now um, and the goals that we're conceding, I think it is time for, for Muric to be given a chance. I'd also say that I don't want to see Delcroix in a Burnley shirt ever again. He's not Premier League level. He's barely even Championship level. And... He was pathetic again today. Um, in fact, I'd argue that the whole starting eleven today was pathetic. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I feel that that may be a little bit harsh on Asignon and Esteve and Berg to an extent because I thought in the first half they'd had played well. Um, but you know just from where we where we are the the game was crap there was no passion there was no fight the only passion and fight that we seemed to have was when j rod came on um you know he he looked very very angry and very upset and actually as if it mattered to him and as if he was personally hurt by how the game was going um and, you know, I'd, I don't mind if we'd have lost that today, as we have done. But there had been that fight. I don't think anyone could have complained. But the fact that there wasn't that fight and this, you know, Deitch's mantra of minimum requirement is maximum effort. And we saw that we'd started to lose that towards the end of his tenure. Um, and then today, there wasn't that effort there. And we've said it quite a lot this season that that effort hasn't been there. 
and it's not been good enough. And I think, you know, we've got Good Munson coming on off the bench and he's been one of our players for a while. It looked like it uh, was actually upsetting him with how we were playing. Same as J-Rod, Burnley lad, Burnley fan. It was like it actually meant something to him. And I just think it's it's time for something to change. That starting eleven against Palace next week, it can't be the same starting eleven. It can't be. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, overall, as I say, Arsenal, they're a good team. But it's not, you know, that that's not the point. As I say, if we'd have lost that 5-0, but the effort was there, we could have probably accepted it. But the effort just didn't seem to be there and it was gutless, pathetic performance from from the lads today. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, but, you know, I'm I'm a very optimistic person. I'd like to say I'm one of the most optimistic, uh, optimistic fans about, but that today has been... You know that 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 for me is the nail on the, nail on the coffin. That for me were down. Um, I said a few weeks ago when we got that last minute goal against City, we're staying up, and you know I had that belief. But that that for me today, that's it. It doesn't matter if we change company. It doesn't matter who we put in that team. It's too far for us now, and we've just got to start planning for the championship. Um. But yeah, so we'll go to Palace next week and it'll be the same on Saturday morning. I'll wake up with the hope, but you know, it's it's done now. So let's just take each game as it comes. Enjoy the wins as we get them or when we get them. Enjoy the draws when we get them. And let's just have fun for the rest of the season because we're not going to get anything from most games. So let's just have fun. Chant as much as we can, sing as loud as we can, back the boys and look forward to the championship next year of the Clarets.